Hi friends, in this video we'll discuss how to change the colors of the planner, how to change the styling and also how to change the fonts and the patterns of your template. So first let's maybe check out the text menu. Here you see that we have three different kinds of fonts. We have the H1 font, H2 and H3 font. Now the H1 font would be the top header of your template. If you activate it, you can add a text on top of your template like this. This text can be customized. You can change the name of it, for example, task list. You can set the header to be aligned to the left, to the middle or to the right side like this. And you can also further choose the header type if you want to have a header. Maybe you want to have it set as a line or as a box like this or you can also insert a doodle. So if you click here on doodle, you, you can also insert water trackers like this. You can insert something that looks like this where you can type in or write in the date. We also have these kinds of doodles or decorations you can add to your template. So you're free to play around with it. Besides this, you can also click here on the plus button to add additional headers to the right side. So here you will get some extra space where you can type in the header, for example, to do list like this. And you can also add a third one like this. And then maybe also make this one a doodle like this. Okay. To change the font, you would change the main font here. Here is where you can select a different kind of font. You can also make the header bigger or smaller. Now the H2 font is every widget header you see in a widget. So for example, the word to-do list and schedule, these two would be considered H2 fonts. If you now go to H2, you can choose a new font and this will change the font of every widget header like you see here. Then if you, for example, want to change the text written within a widget, for example, um, here is a text written, get groceries, and here is one, another one called wake up. Then down here we have prepare dinner. These are considered H3 fonts. If you want to change these texts, go to text, then H3, and then here on the sides, you can choose a new font. Now that you know how to change the fonts, let me show you how we can customize the colors of this planner. Before I move on, let me copy paste the left side to the right side so we have two identical pages. You can do that by clicking on this button up here called L2R, left to the right side. By clicking on it, you can copy paste everything from one side to the other. Okay, so now I can move on to the colors. Now here, when I go to color, you will see an outline color, which will change the colors, the outline color of the widgets. Then I can also change the header color like this. And I also can change the line colors like this. Now you might be confused as to why the colors aren't applying to this to-do list here. And that is because this to-do list already has custom colors applied to it. So every widget has a setting menu here on the right side where it can individually change the settings. For this to-do list, we have already set the colors fixed to be orange and blue and green. If I now click on reset all colors, it will remove all the colors we have preset here and it will take over the main colors we have given here in the color menu. Okay, so the same here for the right side. If you don't want to have custom colors applied to your widget, you can click on reset all to remove all the colors you have preset in the widget. And then it will take over the main color you have given here in the color menu. Now, let me further explain about the colors. If you go to custom color right here, 
you will have the option to select preset or pre-made color palettes. So here I can click on this color palette here and it will automatically change the outline header and line color. You can also search for different kinds of color palettes. For example, you can type in pink clouds search for pink clouds and you will see different kinds of color combinations show up here. You can click on them and then automatically apply the colors to your, col to your template like this. And if you like a color combination but you further want to for example change the line color just simply click here on line and then you can choose a new color like this or maybe set it to gray. Now that you know how to change the colors, let's jump over to the styling. If you click here on styling, you can further adjust the styling of the widget. So you can, for example, apply a rounded styling, a simple original style. We have um, simple, more minimalistic styles. For example, if you go to minimal, you will have different styles without an outline around the widgets. They look like this, so more simplistic. Then we also have decorative ones, which look like this. Or we have also bold stylings with bold frames. You are free to play around with it. If you, for example, only want to change the styling of one widget, you can select the widget you want to change. For example, you want to change the schedule widget, click on it, go back to style, click on two selected widget up here, and then you can select a new styling for that selected widget. For example, this one right here. Now let me quickly select a more neutral styling for this planner, like this, for example. Now that you know how to change the styling, let's jump over to the patterns. You can click here on any pattern to apply it to the template. And then on top here, right here, you can choose if you want to have it applied as an outline, as a border, you can have it applied to the sides, to the middle as a frame, you can fully apply it to the background or um, as or as a faded top background, like this. So different kinds of ways you can apply the pattern. And we have different kinds of patterns you can choose from. They are divided into fixed colors. So these patterns, the colors you cannot change. So these colors are fixed. But if you go to custom, here is where you can choose a pattern where you can further customize the colors. So let's for example say you really like this pattern here, but you further want to change the colors, you can go to color and then here you can further change the color of the pattern. Just keep in mind that whenever you're doing this, it will also automatically change the colors of the widgets. Then one last thing I wanted to show you are also the stickers on Planify Pro. So here if you go to stickers, on the upper left side, you will have the sticker menu show up here on the right side where we have different kinds of collections. So for example, here we have the Spring Mood collection. And then when you open it up, you will see different kinds of stickers in this collection. You can also increase, decrease the columns to three columns so they can be displayed bigger. And then to insert a sticker, you can click on one of them. And the great thing about the sticker mode is that you can now drag the stickers anywhere on the template. You can make it bigger, smaller, and then uh, drag it anywhere. And this is how you can further decorate your planner template. If you want to insert your own kind of sticker graphics or images, you can go to widget. So still have sticker mode here selected on the upper left side. Go to widget and then click on personal image. Then this menu here will show up. 
in the menu scroll down until you see the image menu and here you can upload your own kind of images. These can be photos or graphics you have purchased online. Then you can upload them here to Planify Pro and then click on them to insert the image into the widgets and then again you can drag them anywhere around and decorate your planner like this. In this video, we checked out how to change the fonts, the styling, the color, the pattern, and as well how to add stickers. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you all the basic functions to create a digital planner.